Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Lisette and guys, if you're back, I did it! <laughs> With your help and support. No, I didn't finish the Diamond Stash Detox, but I hit the one year mark and I'm still going. <laughs> yes guys, this is the Diamond Painting Stash Detox check-in number 12. In case you're totally new here and you're not familiar with my stash detox, mm, well, you might want to begin at the start. So I'll put a link to the playlist over there. But if you want to keep watching, no problem. Uh, I have been going for one year. I'm trying to work through all my stash without buying new diamond paintings. And I have managed to <laughs> persevere for one year and those of you who've been following have been support have been so supporting along the way thanks so much i'm i'm so thrilled so i'm going to share this moment with you and guys i have bought something to celebrate this moment with but before we start i'm going to show you uh, the finishes of this month because each month I show my, my progress, the diamond paintings that I have finished and also what I'm going to be working on in the next month. So let's do that first and then we'll come back to the present and I'll show you in my detox journal where we stand at the moment. Oh, and if you're like, Lisette, you normally do videos on Wednesday. That's right, but today it's Tuesday, the 1st of November and I started the detox November 1st, so that's why I wanted to do the check-in today. And tomorrow I have another video, yes, two diamond painting videos in a row uh, of all the finishes of my first year of my stash detox. So this one you'll be seeing tomorrow again. This is the first finish of this month. This is a Treasure Studios art from Michelle Tracy, Eagle Totem number two. And I really love it. There's a post review on my channel. I think uh, not of last week, but the week before that. So you can go check that out if you want more details. But I really love working on this one. And as I have said in a post review, the white background wasn't that bad. Normally I don't like white backgrounds, but, but this one well, help me to reconsider that point. So maybe in the future I will be choosing more diamond paintings with light backgrounds. But we won't know that for sure until <laughs> the detox is finished. Okay, so that was my first finish. And then and I had a surprise last week because I also finished this one. <laughs> Buddha Deep Serenity. It's a partial also from Diamond Art Club and it is supposed to be beginner friendly. Well, um, for me it was a really difficult diamond painting to get through because for me it was just very boring uh, to work on. I do like the shading that you get with the way they have made the gray and the white like that. So it, it really has a great zen vibe but no this one wasn't for me i do like the end result don't get me wrong but it was just oh, well a struggle to work on but i don't like loose ends so that's why i wanted to finish this one in the first year of the stash detox so that i wouldn't have to deal with it the coming year okay so two finishes that isn't bad for october and I have got two whips, I'll show them. So this is Kitchen Helpers, also from Diamond Art Club. A Randall Spangler, a square one, 56 by 69 centimeters. I had originally planned on working on this one in September. Uh, but, well, things, I don't know what happened. Oh yes, I finished... Uh, a Queen Butterfly from Willowing Arts. I'll put a picture in here, so just to refresh your memory. And that one was really confetti heavy, so that took me quite a long time. Um, but 
well I just need to do this part I really like the colors in this one and as I had said I wanted to prioritize Eagle Totem the white one in October um, and then after that I could have returned to this one but I decided to finish Deep uh, Buddha Deep Serenity so I'll take this one with me um, for the beginning of November and well I'll definitely finish this one uh, in November so this will probably be my first finish for the next detox year so I have one whip well not exactly I do have a second whip because guys I started up my cross stitch conversion again and normally I don't show the cross stitch conversion in my detox check-in because I've got a whole separate playlist for uh, that conversion but since today is a special episode because it's the one year anniversary I'm going to show it so let me go get it so here she is mini lucky my cross stitch conversion project from heaven and earth designs I've got an entire playlist guys for this project so if this is the first time that you see it or if you're new here I'll put a link to the playlist over there so you can go and check it out but I'll also put it in the description box below so you can just finish this video and then check it there um, I have I had worked till here uh, well the last time was I think I worked on it was June or something like that or May and I've just started it so I've done this part and this part so I'm going to do the entire page that is this one and I'm going to continue on that way and I hope to show you an update um, well in about a week or two so mid-November after I do all the one year anniversary uh, finishes and stash that I'm going to show you uh, I'll do another update on this one so I'm actually working actively working on this one again guys because I really want to finish this one I don't know if I'll be able to finish it in 2023 because I still got quite a way to go and this part is extremely confetti heavy well this as well uh, but I'm going to try so we'll see and that will be also another finish for my stash detox so I'm really concentrated on this one so hopefully in November I will have finished uh, kitchen helpers that's the one I'm going to be working on with the dragons to relax and I'm going to work on this one okay that's what I have going uh, project wise whip wise so now let's take a look at my journal and the little thing I bought. Guys, so here's my detox journal. And as you may have seen in the thumbnail, I'll get that first. Look guys, wow, 22 finishes, 30 left to go. So I started at 52. And as you can see over here, here I wrote everything down that I've done so far and guys so far I have done 15 rounds and 7 squares so I thought I'd done a lot of squares but then, <laughs> then when you see it, it's like oh I did a lot of rounds as well but I did some large ones like Sagittarius and Aquarius but I'll show all the finishes tomorrow guys so this is where we're at look 22 done so four to go and then I'm at the halfway point and I had said that at the halfway point I was going to buy my one loophole diamond painting because guys for the entire stash detox I had said to myself that I was allowed to buy one diamond painting but well I was a little bit early because it's ordered so as soon as it arrives I'm going to unbox it and show it to you guys but uh, I'm not going to tell it just yet so that one's coming so I hope that by the time I'm here that it will have arrived 
But guys, I've got this one that's, well, I'm planning on having it to be one of those four. <laughs> so I still have a bit of time. Okay. Are you ready, guys? You are the only ones who really get the detox. <laughs> As I have said in a, in a whip and chat a couple of weeks ago, because everyone's like, okay, just work through your stash and don't buy new diamond paintings. What's the, what's, what's the fuss about? But if you're a diamond painter and if you're a diamond painting addict or collector or whatever you want to call it, you know how difficult it is not to buy a beautiful diamond painting, a new one. So I'm really proud of myself for still... <laughs> going through with this and well guys it's also because you're my accountability and you're so supportive so i want to keep going for you guys as well and guys what i did was i bought this look look do you see it it's just a little charm oh i'll just get it off look okay it says Friends are the family you choose. And I thought that was a beautiful way to honor this year. And look, I put it like this and I'll put it on. Look guys, put it like this. And then here I've got the little sign. You see? So when I'm working on my diamond paintings, I hope to be wearing this for the next year. And then you know that this is just to honor this moment that I got this far. And then, well, hopefully next year I can put another <laughs> charm on there. Uh, so that's just one way to celebrate <laughs> this special moment. I wanted to have something to honor it and I thought well the the quote on the charm I think that represents the diamond painting community for me because guys it's so much fun to interact with all of you and reading your comments and just talk to you guys well it's really I really appreciate it and I think I'll speak for all the the creators just the interaction with you guys the people who who watch the videos, well, that's what it's all about because otherwise you're just someone diamond painting and talking to a camera and it's the interaction that makes it interesting. And also for me, because around here no one diamond paints, so <laughs> I have got no diamond painting friends in real life. So my online diamond painting friends are very, very precious to me. All right, guys. I hope that you watch tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to show you all the finishes from uh, the first year of my detox and then the week after that uh, so next Wednesday I'll show you what's still left in my stash and well I'll just tell you which one I'm looking forward to working on which ones uh, I <laughs> I'm dreading a little bit and so on and so on. Right guys, if you like this video, I really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up on your way out. And uh, well guys, I hope to see you tomorrow for the video of all my finishes. Thanks for watching, thanks for all your support and have a fantastic day. Bye guys.